What does Chicago basketball mean to you? It's really like where my passion comes from. If I wasn't from Chicago, I wouldn't play basketball the way I play it. Chicago is just where I, you know, I started learning everything. So I feel like it's just, it's home. We would go to games and I would ask some questions about former Chicago high school basketball player. He knows all this information about, you know, guys that probably played 20 years before he was born. So I knew that he was a student of the game. He was tough. He was a kid. Okay, I'm gonna play with the big kids no matter what. I'm gonna do what I gotta do and if I don't do great, I'm gonna go home and work on it. His grandmother ran the pro-am at the park when he was a little kid. So Mark Aguirre, and Randy Brown, Jawan Howard, Michael Finley. He was at the park with all of Chicago's greats. I feel like, you know, my grandmother was just big into like knowing what was going on. Mm -hmm. So she was just really big in the community. So okay. just being able to be around her and, you know, kind of, you know, maneuver around the neighborhood and going throughout the city, going to pro games, it kind of just, you know, made me, you know, eager and you know, my love for it grew. My mom was always involved, like with the pro -ams, the young kids from her school, you know, she was involved with just the basketball community, but just keeping the kids off the streets or doing any, you know, just anything, keeping them involved and keeping them active. The Chicago basketball scene, it's, it's tough. And Chicago is the city of blue collar basketball and it is played like no other place in the country but it's gonna teach you to get up and keep going. That's one of the things that I know that Taylor learned a lot with Chicago basketball. I was going to see like Jabari Parker, Anthony Davis, Kendrick Nunn. Just being able to see that as a kid, kind of like, you know, made me feel like I could do it. How would you start to learn about their careers and their journeys? Uh, I was yeah, I was a big like, Google kid. When I was six, seven years old, I'll always come back and go just to, you know, look up the guys and just try to figure out everything about them. Because it was one of those things, like once I found out about someone, I was like almost obsessed. Okay. <laughs> Is there one player, like, when you think of their journey that you kind of felt inspiration from? Uh, definitely Jabari, for sure, and Derrick Rose. Um, there's a few other guys, but the main guys that went to Simeon. Where do you think you get this, like, inquisitive spirit from? Uh, my mom, for sure. Growing up, my mom never, she always told me there's no such thing as a dumb question. So, you know, I kind of ran with that. He was uh, 10 years old. He came to one of my camps I had here at Simeon. I felt like I was just destined to go to Simeon. People were telling me I was going to Simeon when I was in fifth grade. But when the time got closer, I just was like, okay, I want to go to the school where I'll probably get an opportunity and then where, you know, the best are going to be. So I felt like Simeon was where the best players were. I remember one of like, I was in kids' full locker one day with my mom and the cashier went to Simeon. And I was probably like seven or eight years old. Mm -hmm. And then, then my mom was like, yeah, you know, the Simeon, they had uh, Ben Wilson. Mm -hmm. And that's the first time I ever heard Ben Wilson's name. So I was like five, six or seven years old. So after that, I Googled everything about Ben Wilson, went home, seeing all the Nike commercials, seeing all the, you know, the stories about him. And um, it was just something that, you know, stuck with me. Chicago, you know, with all the violence that we have, just keeping these young men safe so that they can understand they do have a family outside of their immediate family and they have an outlet. I think we put that cover over these young men. We build a family bond with these guys because if they need anything or they need any support, things that we all, you know, have somebody that we can reach out to to make sure that we have the resources for them. They were there for me for advice that I needed. If I needed a place to, to stay, if I needed a place, you know, to be, I could always count on them. They basically were like father figures for me. So, you know, just being able to have them in my life was pretty good. Coach Corey and Coach Rob stepped up by just being involved, but the whole coaching staff, when my mother passed first, but then his father passed, like the next year, they were very, really, really involved with helping and communicating with him and keeping him on the right track because we dealt with a lot of tragedy fast and at a young, young age. I talked to Coach Rob a pretty good amount too still. Uh, I talked to Coach Corey almost every other day. Coach Corey is just, I've known Coach Corey since I was like eight years old. So, mm -hmm. you know, we've always been pretty lucky. Uh, I would just send them a text message and say, hey man, you know, good luck tonight. You know, go out there and have fun. We, we still talk, he's just like a son to me. And I think he's, the sky's still the limit for him because he's still a young, young man. They still treat me like, you know, I'm still that same kid that, that came in. But obviously they know I'm just a lot older in the NBA now. Like my vision, uh, where I am now is what they envision for me. Do you know his son wears your number? He does. How does that make you feel? Uh, it feels good because, you know, Simeon is, is one of those places where you might see a pro every other four years. So mm -hmm. just being able to be that pro that came through 
while his son was still able to see me and be around me every day was, you know, it's good for me. Lakers have a chance for the break. Key, eight, 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 <laughs> says, yeah, I'm going to show you what I can do. Right What was a welcome to the NBA moment for you? Yeah, it was in practice. Just walking in practice every day and walking into training camp. You got to play against LeBron, you got to play against Rondo, you got to play against AD, you got to guard all those guys. It's kind of like, okay, this is really the NBA. Yeah. <laughs> I was super quiet. Like, mm -hmm. I was just always listening and observing everything. So just being able to do that and get around them and learn and pick their brains a little bit was great for me. So you got to like kind of step back into the mindset of that eager kid with all the questions? Literally. I just sat back, listened, and I asked when I could. Yeah. I think as a rookie, that was like the best opportunity. And it was a blessing because, you know, with him being able to work with them and learn from them. Yeah. So now with him being a vet five years now, he knows what to do and what not to do. He was he he received that, so he's able to give it back. So I'm really proud of him and doing that. What is it like to kind of step into that role as this leader, as this vet? It's crazy. It's super crazy. Uh, I still don't even really consider myself a vet yet, but just being able to, to to be somebody that people, you know, look up to, especially like younger guys that are like good. And then being able to like be around the, the younger generation that are coming up still mm -hmm. is, uh, you know, it's, it's crazy, honestly. How do you pour into these young guys that are now on the jazz? So you got to let them learn a little bit. Mm -hmm. Then you also just got to be there for them. Knowing like the fact that if I could be a, a big brother figure for someone, and especially at this level, it can only do like wonders for them. How did it feel to see him fulfill that dream and to get drafted? I don't know, like, you know but I always tell people I'm really, really happy because he deserves it. Because he's a good kid, you know? He's always been how he is good, treat people right. He likes what he does, he's respectful, and he's always been like that, and I'm really proud of him. I, I'm getting a little teary-eyed because I'm just proud of him. <laughs>